What's good YouTube, it's your boy Saucy Boy Zane, I'm back with another video, and in today's video I'm going to be letting y'all in on the best defending build in the game, hands down my favorite one. If y'all watch my other videos, I'm pretty sure I had him in a couple other ones, I had in the um, chase down method, but this build is super overpowered, I guess, in my opinion, like I said, the best defending build in the game, you can rebound like a big man. You have the vertical, and you already know the defenders. They already get, they already got the house rebounder and stuff, so it's like even better. You can score in the paint, and you can still shoot consistently as long as you have a really good jump shot. That's literally all. If you have this player, all you need to do is just get a good jumper. That's it. Get a wet jump shot, and your hands down, like you're gonna be cooking. Like you can shoot consistently. Like right now, with the player, I don't. Even, I have some weird jump shot. I don't, I don't know. I have some dumb stuff. But if you're using this player, like a good tip. When you're like a defender or something, most people will not expect you to shoot. Like, unless they're like super good, but still they'll give you that room. Like, you can't shoot greens every single time. Like, it's just not possible. You know how this game works. So people are always going to give you a lot of room. So you don't want a super fast jumper. Like, you don't usually want a max speed jumper unless the base is slow. And then it's like kind of fast. But like that medium speed at the max. But for the most part, like if you have like Lamarcus Aldridge on or like base 11... You want to put the speed down one, like the one down to where it's like that medium slow speed. That way you can just shoot more consistently. Because if fast ones, like, I don't know, I really don't like the fast jump shots like that on this player. I honestly just hate it. I don't really bang with the the way that they look. And just the way how they release, like, with this player. I don't know, I just don't like it. But for this build... I'm telling you to do everything I have. I mean, if you want to change, the only thing I would maybe say to change if you want is preference up to you. But I would say to go with mine is the weight. The, all the other stuff, just keep the same. I'm telling you, it's the best thing to have. Alright, so for this part, the hand nest, of course, this doesn't matter. This is whatever you prefer. If you like lefties, if you like righties, it really does not matter. So I'm going to just put it right for the video. I already have the build, so I'm not going to use this guy. Alright, so righty, then for the position you want to do a small forward so go over to the small forward you go over to a small forward the reason why you want the small forward is because you're gonna have like that big man ability but you're still gonna be fast like you're gonna have like, pretty, like an 80 speed you're gonna be flying like you're crazy fast with this build all right so for primary you want to have defending that's your primary you want defending as the primary and your secondary you want driving and finishing this right here is the exact build now if you look at the shooting it might not look that good but it's actually in like the 50s or 60s and then with dimers with corner specialists you're close to like almost like a mid 60 almost 70 and you already know if they have that playmaking takeover you're green and they're like crazy no matter what build you're green in it so for the badges this is all the badges you get you get charge card hall of fame pick dodger hall of fame pickpocket hall of fame chase on ours hall of fame I mean, charge card really doesn't matter. I have the video on the Chase on Artist if you need that after making this build. Pickpocket and Pick Dodger, pretty simple. You just honestly are... Like, they just come after time. Like, the Pickpocket one, I, there's a really easy way you can do it. I could make a video on that if I need to. The Pick Dodger, I mean, there's no weight rep. Like, there's no like, rep method for that. You just run past the screen. So you have to... I mean, park is really good because, you know, people spam screen, so that's a really good way to do it. Or just go to the facility, and now it's one of the badges that comes over time. Then for the gold, you get Lob City Finisher, Posturizer, Defensive Stopper, Bruiser, Brick Wall, and Quick Reflexes. So you're like a mini big man with this. You got Brick Wall, Bruiser, so you can still, like, play sort of like a big man with, like, the screens and, like, push around people then you still have your defensive badges here with a quick reflex and defensive stopper to where your defense is good and then you see you have the badges to finish at the rack so that's those four hall of fame and those six gold already then when you get to the silver you get teardropper putback king relentless finisher hustle rebounder rim protector and one man fast break these badges beast i mean teardropper i really don't do like uh floaters or nothing but floaters are low-key like super overpowered like when they sit back in the paint like a lot of people when you have like this build if you're trying to get to the paint they're just gonna stand under the rim i mean you can try to dunk on them but if you throw up a little floater right over the head green every time it's not gonna get contested put back king helps when you're getting those lobs and putting it back up relentless finisher you already know hustle rebounder this will make you snag like most most big men don't even have like hall of famer gold unless you're a pure What's it called? Um, 
glass cleaner that's the only one that has a higher one than you or something that's primary rebounding and with your vertical you're still going to be able to grab those boards so it's really effective with that and then you're in over and protector so you can still guard the big men all right now for the bronze you get corner specialist really helpful when you're shooting a jump shot i would really only say only really shoot corner threes if anything just because i mean you're getting a boost so why would you not tireless score don't really use that you're really not really tired ever acrobat helps a little bit on the, um laps and stuff pick and roller up and under special and free throw waist the pick and roll like i said so you're like a mini big man with this like you can pick and roll with this build you can pick you can pop to the corner with this or you can just simply just set screens and just wait for your guard to get open so that's off the badges that's like the build how it looks now i'm gonna get into the other stuff right now so for the height you want to do 610 max height you don't want to do nothing else and the reason is like like I said, you're kind of like a big man. So you could fill the big man position if you're playing threes, if you're playing twos. You can fill the spot. You don't want to have like a 6'6 six, six or like 6'7 guy. Like you're too small. So you want to do 6'10. That way you're like still tall enough to mess with the centers. And you're still getting that like the vertical. You're still being able to grab boards. Do what you got to do. Finish the rim. Everything like that. Then for the weight. For the weight, I did 240 for the weight i did not want to call want to put too much onto him just because you don't want to slow your player down like as you can see with the caps here <clears throat> speed with the ball you do have a 61 i mean that's pretty quick if you're bringing it down court you can get i mean like on a fast break and still dunk it but your overall speed is an 81 so i mean like i said if you want to change it around a little bit you can you could like i said if you wanted to you could put it up 250 251 around here you don't get too much slower at really at all like i don't think it's even like slows you down with like regular speed like you could do like i said big as this it's at all preference like if you want to be a bigger guy like this you can do that it's all up to you how fast you want to be with the ball or not but i mean the bigger you are i would say you probably will just like dominate a lot more with like your body just because you'll be able to let me push around the players but your vertical does get affected by this a tad bit not too much but a little bit of vertical does like change it so like i said 240 for the weight if you want to put any higher that's up to you and then for the wingspan this is on honestly pretty obvious like you want to do max i know that you're probably like wondering why the max but i mean the defense gets better off of the max everything in the defense as you can tell the blocks the seals the shock and test all get better and your shooting yes it does go down a little bit but like i said this build is not meant to just be shooting like if you're open you can shoot it but you're, they're not going to be just pulling everything with this build so like you're shooting like you see your open midis is 60 your open shot three is a 61 but with a corner specialist and a dimer you're almost at a 70 put on some boost you're almost at a 70 right there you have like a 73 pointer that's around like what is it um like some of the big men build like the shot create and post score like that's like their three pointer so your three isn't that bad on this build and most people don't expect it to be this high because you have slashing in you but then once you start shooting if you have a good jumper if you're able to shoot you're not missing and then your finishing is still really good all in the 80s your contact dunks close it's at a 78 but i'm pretty sure you can still get the like the first dunk package like the primary um what is it the posterizer thing to where you can like poster on the people that one you do actually get a bunch of contact animations as long as it's not like a crazy big defender or not but you're still dunking a lot of people with this i mean your steals let me just go to the defense real quick you have a 91 steal if you have a 91 steal you put on a boost 96 plus the hall of fame pickpocket you're stealing everything you get a 90 block with a 91 shot contest so no one's shooting near you you get an 88 vertical you're almost at a 90 vert so when you're jumping for those boards where you're jumping high as hell like you're getting up there with the big men i grab over boards over glass cleaner sometimes like i've out rebounded glasses with their takeover with it like they can't even throw they can throw you around a little bit but you're not weak like you have an 81 strength you still are pretty big you have the high vertical your rebounding's almost at the 80s you could stick up and put a boost on that you're in the 80s right there you get an 84 then your shooting's all good your driving's all good so this this build is just all around you can do anything and everything that you want like i find this super fun to play with because you can like i said you can fill the third spot in the threes and this can be like the big man 
of your team because of the fact that you can still rebound, you can still play the download defense, you can play off ball, and with this you'll be able to switch. So if you do play with this on the thirds, you can switch off to the guard with no problem. You can change off to, what's it called, like I said, the guard, the shooting guard, the big man. You can guard the whole court with no problems. Like, you have everything locked down. It's super overpowered. But that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you on the next one.